The Equalizer 2 is directed by Antoine Fuqua and it stars Denzel Washington. Both these men are back for the first time for a sequel. I'm a huge fan of the first one, also starring Denzel Washington and also directed by Fuqua. And we find Robert McCall once again as a man of the people, helping others who are victims of injustice. Except now McCall can make a living out of it with an old friend played by Melissa Leo. But once she becomes a target of injustice, he embarks on a personal mission of vengeance. As I quickly mentioned, I'm a huge fan of Antoine Fuqua. I'm a huge fan of Denzel Washington, who isn't? And I'm a huge fan of their first movie in The Equalizer. I think that movie is underrated like most Antoine Fuqua films. And I was really excited because for the first time he is doing a sequel to one of his films. And this film starts with a bang. There are really good action sequences. They are kind of an elevation from the first movie. They have a little more choreography added to them and they are brutal just like they were in the first film. Denzel once again brings it like only he can. This man is magnetic in every performance he gives, whether the movie itself is good or not. He has a really great relationship with Miles, who is played by Ashton Sanders from Moonlight, and that to me was the most compelling aspect of this film. I wish I was only watching a drama that centered on the relationship between these two. There's generally really great dialogue in this film, and so many scenes are basically acting lessons on the part of Denzel Washington. The man just he can do no wrong, to be honest. And as I said, I wish I could have only been watching a drama that centered on these two, because the film as a whole disappointed me. I was not a fan. The Equalizer 2 doesn't really work for me. The film just seems to be meandering to get through its plot. The plot is really heavy, and that doesn't mean that the story is heavy. This is one of those films that carries a lot of plot, but not as much story. It's very simple in its structure, it's very simple in what it's trying to do, in the story it's trying to tell. There are so many subplots in this film that seem unnecessary and seem to bear no fruits at all. As soon as you see these subplots presented, you immediately know how they're going to end, but the film really finds a way to be underwhelming about how it resolves these subplots. The Equalizer 2 is one of those films that it certainly has highlights in it. There are moments that I was fascinated at watching. Moments that, as I said, you see Denzel giving it his all. The action sequences that are in this film are really great, really visceral. And I wish the rest of the film could have been that. Antoine Fuqua directs really greedy dramas. Whether they're action dramas or cop dramas, like Training Day, like Shooter, The Magnificent Seven that he did a few years ago are really great and again, underrated movies. But after seeing this one, I just don't feel like there was any need to get a sequel despite how excited I was before actually seeing it. I don't think this film is really worth it, nor is the time worth it. This film drags a lot. I felt this film was three hours long and it's only two, which is about the time that the first one was, and the first one really moves. It opens with a bang, but immediately it starts slowing down and screeches to a halt before even getting to some of the action sequences, which are not the only thing I like in movies. But the way you set those up really need to give some meat to the film, and I just don't think the script had that meat in it. I enjoyed this director for what he can do, even with a not so good script. I enjoy every moment that Denzel is on screen, and I wish they could have done better. I'm going to say that whether you watch The Equalizer 2 or not, your heart will go on. But what did you think of The Equalizer 2, my beautiful Yugi's? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Am I in the minority? Let me know in the comments below. And if they were to do a third one, let me know what you would like to see in that. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. This week, I have many reviews coming for you. I have reviews for The Meg and for Darkest Minds. And next Sunday, I will have a live streaming for a very special announcement. So I hope to see you there. And so until then, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky. And if you haven't done so yet, Click the subscribe button, click the bell, and consider supporting me on Patreon so we can be geeky. You know